In the meantime, let's take Laser out for a spin, now that it's all nicely charged up. Uh, give me something to shoot. Like, literally any- a snake? Ah, am I gonna waste Laser on a snake? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Cryofall, where I've solved my power bank issue. Yeah, between episodes, I kind of poked around all my workbenches here, and comments chipped in on it, too. And the power bank is right down here. This is the thing I need to get my laser pistol up and running eventually. And it required a little bit of crafting, but, you know, clever me, I went ahead and crafted some of this stuff between episodes. So I've got everything I need. I've got my power cell. I made some electronic components. I've got some some copper kicking around, we can now craft a single power bank. Now that's not the end of the story though. I need something to charge the power bank with and I think if I remember correctly that was in a recharging station. Okay, recharge any portable electronic equipment such as a power bank or flashlight. Wiring, some steel, and some copper. Okay, great. I think I can put all of that together right now. I should have some wiring. Yep, got plenty of wiring down here. Power bank has no power. That's fine. We're working on that right now, Cryofall. And then what? Some steel. Well, I should have a... Yeah, I got plenty of steel, actually. I've been making steel like a maniac. So that should get me all the things I need to make this. 8825. Yeah, we should be pretty good on this. Now, this obviously should probably live near you know, the, the thing, like the, well, actually, there's no real grid, is there? Like, I'm not wiring a grid up. It just sort of has a automatic grid. So, can I just put this right here? Is this a thing that I can do? Well, we'll find out in a sec, I guess. So, if I pop you in here, are you now going to be, yes, 1%. Okay, great. So, it's going to take a little while, but eventually, eventually, laser pistol. Now, I did spend some more time doing some mining off-screen. Uh, I was very short on copper, and a lot of the things that I'm using are using up copper. So I went out and got a bunch of copper. I've got that going in the furnace. I've got some more iron going in the furnace. I have nothing going there, but I should have just made a whole bunch, well, a whole bunch, three things of cooked meat. Oh, I'm sorry, no, ten things of cooked meat. Uh, put that there, put that up there. Okay. Let me just briefly reorganize everything, and then we'll figure out what the plan is for today. I wouldn't mind grabbing some more salt, because that seems to be becoming more and more valuable as time goes on. How's everything doing down here? Oil refinery. Okay, we got a couple of things of petroleum there. Let's take those out of there, put those into there. And then I'll take these out of here. I'll go throw that in the generator. I'll throw that in the sciency box. There's two more empty canisters right there. Okay, go over to the generator get this up and running make sure it's plenty of gasoline yep definitely needs a little bit of a top off there take the empty canisters back okay the petrol not the petroleum the mineral whatever stuff that i made that goes in the sciency box we make things out of that in fact say that out loud could i make some oh i need a mineral not not the empty ones dave the mineral oil can you did it backwards Put them in your inventory, you very, very silly person, and then make the things. Okay, I can only make the one. You know what? It's better than nothing. Plastics are a little hard to come by. May as well make them. Okay, put everything back in the science -y box. We'll come back to that later when we're crafting something and put my coal back up in there. I feel the coal should live in the furnace box, but I do more science -y stuff with it. And then I'm going to take all of this... And all, it's all going to go back into the oil pump. It's just a little circuit that we're doing here. Probably need some more fuel in that eventually. Okay, how about... Well, let's start with some fundamentals here. Let's just claim the thing that we've got here. So we've done this. We did some mining and minerals and all that kind of thing. Drone mining, which came up in the comments. I should kind of jump on that. I There's only so much I can do in one episode. We'll see if we can kind of touch on that a little bit and get some drones going, and then the pragmium thing, which I've been warned I will absolutely kill myself doing, so, you know, there'll be a spectacular end to Cryofall. Let's spend some knowledge points. So what, if anything, am I missing in Tier 3? Some farming. Okay, and that could get me a plant pot. Oh, I could put something inside. That'd be nice. A different watering can. Eh. Hygro hygroscopic granules? Sounds like plant food. Okay. And then some flowers. All right, I can... I can live without... Oh, tobacco. All right. It's that kind of game. Uh, I can live without a lot of that. Let's just go back to the Tier 4 things. 
Uh, show me defense again. Is there any advanced night vision? That might be nice. Assault armor helmet. Steel aramid fiber and ballistic plate. I can make all of those, but I'm not going to jump on that right now. Uh, canning. You know what? This has come up again and again. I'm going to... Oh, I don't... I do care, because it'll be a great way to store food. Um, it's just not... Oh, I need Tier 3 fully done. Okay, that's fine. What have I not... Oh, I haven't done anything in cooking in Tier 3. I... Oh! It's just killing me to blow all of these points to get all of these things just so I can go over and get canned goods. I... I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to come back to it. Let's look at offense, more importantly. 300 armor piercing ammo. Nice. Incendiary grade. Machine gun. Well, I'm going to have laser rifle. So, what have I done? In, in anything at all? Not really. Actually, I actually haven't filled out anything. Okay, let's do some sensible things then. How about, like, what's in chemistry? Solvent. Okay. Kenite, kenite extractor. Don't know what it is, but it sounds cool. Formulated gunpowder. All right. Explosives. And kenite. What does this do exactly? I need chemistry to get the solvent out of it. All right, wow, so many things to do. How about industry? You know what, let's go down, stop asking me things. Let's go down this, advanced drone control, oil cracking plant, that sounds really good. Gold ingot to make it. I have one extra gold ingot, but that's it. Mineral processing, this all sounds, oh, I can make sand. Okay, that's less exciting than I wanted it to be. Drones, drones, more drones. Large power bank. That might be good. Copper ingot, a power cell, and some electronic components. That's that's feasible. And then there's this pragmium hammer. Okay, I know I'm not in AFK mode, I assure you, game. Uh, you know what? Just fix it, finish it out there. Oh, I'm done. All right. We won't be quite able to finish that out. I am out of knowledge. That's okay. Every tree chopped, every rock crushed is a potential for one more knowledge point. How is, now that I've killed a little time here, how's my power bank doing? Almost 50%. Neat. All right. I'm going to take a moment because I'm a little shy on like basics. I just chop down some trees while that finishes out. I'm going to have some lunch while I'm here. I've got a good stack of meat there, so that's not going anywhere. I mean, the whole canned good idea sounds phenomenal. But boy, that is a huge investment in technology to get there for things that I don't actually care that much about. Now, talk to me about the whole drone thing. Let's examine this. We're not doing anything with it right now, but let's get an idea. So an advanced industrial drone, and then obviously I'm gonna need some sort of remote control for it, the advanced drone control. Wiring plastics and electronic components. Plastics are slow to come by. Wiring is no problem. Electronic components remind me what I need for that. Lithium ingot I can do, and copper. Okay, great. That I can totally, totally conquer. Wiring easy. And then this guy needs similar things. We need some optical components. That is glass, lithium salts, and steel. I can do that. Okay. And then one of those power cells, I, I can make those. Those can happen. And some more steel. All right. I thought drones might be a long way off, but that's, that's not inconceivable. Electronic components and optical components are going to be my two things. Quite a bit of electronic components, actually. 15 of them all together. Okay, and electronic components are one more time. Lithium ingot and copper. So the stalling point there will be the lithium ingots. I have some made. Let me go down and get my salt extractor thing here, and we'll get whatever I've got in the tank here. Not much, because it hasn't been long since I drained these things, but that'll be, I don't know, an ingot or two. Let me see. I'm going to transfer, or rather transform, if you will, everything I've got into lithium ingots and see where we're at. And I'm also kind of dragging down some of the other things that I just saw in there. I, I should probably start making a list or something. Yeah, I've got some lithium ingots right here. Uh, bring that glass in. Plastic, definitely. I should, I should make a special box just for plastic because it's that important. I've Wow, I haven't used tarps in ages. Uh, right. That seems to be all the sort of things. Where's that? Is that flux powder? That should really go in the furnace box. But I'm, I'm going to let that one slide for right now. Okay, workbench. Right, so the big thing that I needed was electronic components. That was the big stumbling block. And for that, I need more lithium ingots. 
Uh, let's go ahead. I think those live in here. Yeah, lithium ingot. Make as many as I've got. All right, as whatever I've got, just go ahead and do that. Yeah, even just basic crafting. We've got a couple of learning points there. I know, again, comment section had said I won't be able to generate enough learning points to learn everything, but unless that stops at some point, I mean, just basic things are getting me learning points. Not quickly, I will fully admit, but they are coming in. Uh, one more time, Chief. Electronic components. Just need to go get my copper, and I should be able to make three electronic components if I don't need those lithium ingots for something else. So copper, uh, I need to go to the furnace and get whatever I've got in here. Not much. Yeah, I need to prioritize copper when I'm out and about. All right, so I want to say max me out on that, but is there anything else that I need those lithium ingots for? I don't think so. No. Uh, what do I need for the power cell? That's that's in here somewhere, isn't it? Power cell, power cell. I kind of forget. Is that chemistry? That might be chemistry. Yeah, I need two for the power cell. I'm going to make one right now. That's going to chew up some more of my plastic there. Okay, that's one thing done. Is it only one that I needed? I'm just, I'm running back and forth and back and forth. Good thing I put all these benches together. One power cell. That's all I need. One power cell to make one drone and one advanced drone remote control. Okay, cool. Back to electronic components. Max me out. That'll leave me one lithium ingot left over. Okay, things are happening here. Where are we at? Uh, now we need the optical components. And those are... Ah, I need more lithium salt. Okay, that will happen fairly soon. I got a little bit more off the extractors there. How are we doing here? 100%. Okay, 100% on laser. So I believe I go to equipment, and then this guy like goes over here where like the battery things are. Do you live here? Where exactly is it? Do you live over here? Okay, cool. Now, if I hit laser, am I ready to go? Oh, yes, I am. I've got a laser now. Oh... Unfortunately, it's nighttime. I'd prefer not to go hunting at night. Okay, I've got a plan. Plan number one, if I'm going to ditch anything, I might ditch rifle. Because my loadout's getting a little extreme here. So, rifle could go. I'm keeping crossbow for the boars and the wolves. It does just fine. Pistol fires nice and quick. Nice and quick on that. I need to make some more ammo for it, though. And I'm going to need to repair that. In the near future. Okay, here's my plan. Here's my I've got a plan, and my plan is I'm very excited about laser. So I am going to hopefully have all the things I need to make some more ammo. I want to craft some more ammo for this. I'm going to ditch rifle, do some light inventory management. Hopefully by the time all of that is done, A, it's daylight, B, I have a little bit more lithium salts and I can get done what I need. So everybody just hold tight for a sec. All right, no problem on the ammo. I had all the things I need for that. Although, again, this is chewing up my copper. Everything is relying on copper lately, so I'm really going to have to rethink my priorities when I'm out and about. Now, what do I consider to be my sort of my storage box, like my things that I keep? There's a whole box of things where I'm like, I'm keeping it just in case we need it at some point. This is just armor. That doesn't work. Uh, this is just sugar for some reason. And this is completely empty. Okay, congratulations. You're going to be a weapons box now. So I'm going to put rifle in here. Just in case I want it again later. And then the ammo for that. What are you? Are you 10 millimeter? Yeah, you're 8 millimeter. So you can go live in there. All right. That shaves things down a little bit. Okay, good. And then I'm going to move laser over to here. Because, you know, laser. I should think about making another one of those power bank things. So I can take another one out on the road. And I know I just made one, but remind me again what it takes. Yeah, it says power cell. And then the copper. Wow, I'm using a lot of copper. Okay, priorities. Now, copper. Kind of already thinking about a second oil well, too. Because it's the generator's great, but boy, it, it certainly does go through the gasoline pretty quickly. Let's put this up in here. Oh, I need some more fuel for this. I have got to get some more fuel. Where's my basics box over here? I was gathering some mineral oil whatevers to uh, get some more plastic going. That's a bit of a limiting factor right now. So let's get all of this fuel 
back in here. That'll keep that going. There's another one right there. You know what? I'm just going to, while I'm right next door to it, I'm gonna take that out, put that right in here, trying to get some more of the mineral oil. Did I make enough to make some more plastic? Oh, I need coal for that, don't I? All right, so mineral oil and coal in the science box because we are hyper hyper organized lately. Now, when we get into chemistry, these industrial chemicals, we looked at this the last time, I think. These are going to be a pain. That salt's kind of a pain to get to. Lithium salts are slow. Ash I can do all day, but then more mineral oil. Okay, oh wow, it's daylight. All right, I've done virtually nothing. Why in the world would I use plastic that is so hard to make? Or at least it's not hard to make. It's slow to make. And turn it into fiber. I can go pick little things of grass out of the ground all day. And then industrial chemicals, which, as we've just discovered, are, why would I use all of this to make fiber? That is silly. It should be the other way around. That would be fantastic. Um, while I'm here, I got enough stuff to make some plastic. So let's just go ahead and make one more thing of that. Slow going here. Slow going. I have the things I need to make the regular drone and the remote control for it. I've got all the doohickeys that I need for that. I kind of like to wait and get the advanced drone. Uh, one more time, please remind me, optical components are more lithium salts. Okay, and how much do I need of it? Five, so I, I believe I make 10 in a stack, so that'll be cool. I'd kind of rather wait for that. Need 10 more lithium salts. I mean, it's just, if I'm gonna make a drone, it seems to me the advanced drone would be smarter. There's three right there. There'll be another three over here. Just a little bit longer, and I'll have the ones that I need. In the meantime, let's take laser out for a spin. Now that it's all nicely charged up, uh, give me something to shoot. Like, literally any... A snake? Uh, am I going to waste laser on a snake? I'd rather it was, like, boar or wolf or... You know what? I think there's a dinosaur who lives up in here now. Uh, there's a spider... That's no fun. Is there any copper? I kind of just strip mine this area. No, nope, we've got a bit of a respawn going on here. Well, you know what? While I'm here, that's more like it. That's more like it. What's my range on this? Can I just shoot you from here? Okay, it fires real quick. It's not, it's not as powerful as I thought it might be, but it does fire very, very quickly. And I can keep this going for a while. I got 2,900 out of 3,000. Yeah, if I could definitely build another battery for it, another power pack or whatever. And then, oh yeah, you're you're not even going to make it to me, are you? I barely had to back up for that one. So yeah, definitely want another power bank for that so I can keep going on the road. And then, of course, I'll have my backup weapons, a pistol and crossbow. I just Yeah, I just saw some more copper over here. Largely just killing time until I've got more lithium salts. All right, let's get that copper up and running. I got quite a bit of it, too. And, uh... Let's, uh, let's put some more fuel in there. Not sweating the iron right now. I can smelt that later. Actually, you know what? I think I've already got one set up. No reason to not have the furnaces going. There we go. Pop that in there, and that will work out fine. Thank you. Uh, lithium salts I just gathered. So what was the what was the whole point in doing that? The optical components, right? Not the electronic components. I've already made those. Those are sitting right there. Optical components. There we go. I have just enough lithium salts and the steel and the glass. Wow, that is intensive in glass. Go ahead and make that, please. Now, if I've done this correctly, which I probably haven't, I should have everything I need to make the advanced drone and the remote control for it. Just checking, checking, looking good. Craft that. And should I... Wait, do I need, like, a station for this or something? Like, where does this drone live? I don't even know what I'm doing with drones. Somebody said drone, and I'm like, sure, I'll give it a shot. What the heck? Like, what do I what do I do with you? Do I put where's the remote control? That's there. Do I put this somewhere? Do I put this like here or here? Do I put it down here? Is that a thing that I do? And then what do I do with you? Cannot be used directly. Use a control device to issue commands while it's in my inventory. Okay. How do we how do we do that? I'm I'm on it. Right? Drones from your inventory or hotbar can be issued by commands. Holding the shift key while issuing a command. Okay. Nothing to mind there. How about there? Ah! Okay, cool. And then we just do that. And they do it pretty quickly, too. But I've got to be here. 
So it's not like I can just like leave and they'll drone things. So let's, let's try that again. How about we did that? All right, good deal. You're going to cut down a tree. That's not actually the tree I wanted you to cut down, but I probably misclicked on that. And then you come back. Can I just send you right out? There we go. So it's got to come back into my inventory, and then um, we do the thing. And then I can send them out again. Cool. Well, that is handy. If I'm out mining or logging or whatever, I can just sort of do two-fisted mining. I can be mining something, and my drone can be mining something. It's an inventory spot, obviously. But that's okay. I'm pretty much okay with this. So, uh, I've got a drone now. Well, now what? Well, first off the bat, let's be, let's be brutally honest here. Red Hot Inventory Management. I still have quite a few of those electronic components left over, so I'm sure that'll come in handy for something down the road. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't need the tree. I really just don't need a tree. There's plenty of trees. We can, we can throw away the tree. That's fine. Sorry, nature. We're, we're throwing away the tree. All right, get all of that up in there. I'll take those full water bottles into my own inventory. That's my new weapon box. That's the sugar box, Dave. Remember that. This is the one I was looking for. Put all of that stuff up there, looking good over there. All right, uh, what was my next plan? I definitely had a next plan. I kind of don't remember what my next plan is. It was something to do with my inventory. Oh, water bottles, right. All right, let's so put those in there, take those, and then put those into my inventory. I'll take those out on the road. Those can basically just stay right there. That's fine. Empty canisters. So before I leave, which is my next plan, let me have some lunch like that and that. Okay. I know uh, the whole canning food, I'm sure it's like way, way better for, you know, my overall, you know, feeding level or whatever you want to call it, meeting my hunger meter. But dang, that is a lot of research. Okay. So let's put, well, let's take these. And then let's go over here and then put these in here. Okay, good enough. Just to finish the whole inventory management, we'll put the mineral oil that I just got back in there. And we'll put the gasoline over, obviously, in the generator. Now, what is the thing that you want me to do here? Large power storage, bioreactor, electric furnace. Okay, how many of those things can I make right now? The answer is the bioreactor. I can actually slam that out right now. Small amounts of electrical energy not suitable as primary. When you say organic matter, does that count for my rotten food too? Because I often have rotten food. Hmm. Wiring glass and a steel ingot. And then some more of that that I just said. Hang on. I, I'm just going to nail this right now. I also got to remember to make some more glass at some point. I just used up a ton of it. Okay, uh, this thing. Yeah, bioreactor. Hit me. Uh, wh wow, where the heck am I going to put this nonsense? I got to start extending these bases out. Uh, you know what? I've actually got, some, got a spot over there. Got a spot over there. Hang on. Hang on. I'll get these two bases to merge at some point, just not today. Yeah, there we go. There's a good spot for it. I like it kind of out of the way there. I, if I can put rotten food in this, that'd be awesome. What are we counting as organic? Like, could I just cut down trees and throw logs in there? And it will produce a small amount of electricity. Well, hey, the more the better. And then, yeah, the game's actually right. I should build another power storage thing. So what can we do in here? Aha! All sorts of things. Fur, bones, and rotten food. Ah, bones and fur. Okay. And a sandwich. And those ani flower things. Huh. I would think about that. I should go fishing again. I haven't been fishing in ages. Yeah, I have not a small amount of bones that I've accumulated here. And actually, a fair bit of fur, too. I'm going to keep, obviously, some of it. Because I don't want to uh, don't want to get rid of all of it. It has value to me. Now, how much rotten food do I have? Uh, I, should put, I, should, I could put that raw insect meat in here. I know just talking about fishing, we could be using that for bait, but I probably won't. Ah, there's some good rotten food. Let's get that going. And just a quick PS if you're watching this, I, I do as much as I can to clean up the audio in these recordings as is humanly possible. However, my cat has decided it's the most appropriate time to be completely insane. So if you're hearing tiny, tiny little kitty noises in the background, that's my cat running around the house being a complete lunatic because it's raining out and he really doesn't like weather. So, uh, you know, try to learn to cope with that. How about the insect meat? Yep, that works out just fine. Uh, okay, put that in there, put that in there, and the rotten food. Well, those bones alone are going to hold that for a long time. Yeah, it's really not generating a lot of power. 
is it? Nope, not a lot of power there. Okay, you know what, though? It meets a goal. Large power storage and an electric furnace. Okay, I have regular power storage, but not the large one. And I don't have the electric furnace. I assume that lives in... It should be in Tier 4, because I've matched out every, or maxed out rather everything else. Uh, large power storage right there. Okay, and the electric furnace. Where do we... I'd love to get solar in here. Where do we feel the electric furnace is? Oh, it's a furnace, Dave. That'll be an industry, you moron. How about... Uh, no, it's not in there, so it must be up in... Wait, is it Tier 5? It's not really... There is no industry in Tier 5. Did I miss something in Tier 3? Electric furnace. Oh, I'm building it from the wrong place, you very, very silly person. Electric furnace. It's right there. Oh, great. More plastics. Electronic components, though. Well, I've made a bunch of those. I'd need six pieces of plastic. And I'm actually shy on wiring now. Okay, hang on. I might... I might be able to do this. Well, probably the smart move if I'm going to do this is to demo one of the other furnaces. Rather, the, I don't need four furnaces. I think three is perfectly good. Uh, let me just get out of this so I can get out whatever is in here before I demo it. Because I don't know if I'll get those back. So just in case. And then let's go ahead and demo this furnace. Don't need three. Well, I do. Three is good. Four is overkill at this point. I should have everything I need. Yep, I made a little bit more wiring, a little bit more plastic, and I certainly have plenty of those electronic components. Uh, I, know I'm, I know I'm standing in the cell. Everything's going to be fine. Let's build it. So I'm assuming because, you know, electricity, I could just pop that in there. And what, what do you mean it doesn't match any recipe? What are you, insane? Iron ingot. Oh, I need five of them. Okay, I just don't have enough iron. That's fine. That's fine. So I can just pop those in there. Do I have any just random pieces of iron ore here? No, not a one. I just like to see it working, but I'm sure it's totally fine. And what's your last thing? Large power storage. Okay, I don't suppose I have the tech points to unlock that, do I? Tier four. Now I'd have to buy the whole thing. Yeah, I definitely don't have that. No, I know. 150 points. Okay, well, you know what? I can get some points right here because I've finished my drone mining thing. There's 100 points right out of the gate. And then I need to, I, again, I wasn't really paying attention. Does that give me enough to research this? No, 150. All right, so 150 points there. And then projector tower. Don't know what it does, but it sounds really awesome. Then I can get my large power storage and then hopefully move into solar. That seems like a really good sustainable source of electricity rather than relying on the gasoline. Speaking of the gasoline, uh, yeah, I've actually got plenty of empty canisters in here. Don't really need to top that off. Gas is coming in. Uh, let me take this petroleum. You know what? Just fill this up and then call me when you're done with all that. And you know what? Have these extra logs. Yep. Number one thing I got to favor is copper. This is it. I have 11 copper ingots and nothing else. That is not going to fly. I need way more than that. Everything else is going to go in the sciencey box. It's odd that I'm far more concerned about my organization in Cryfall than I am about, I don't know, getting off the planet or anything like that. Nope. Mostly concerned that I am hyper, hyper organized components and the coal, even though I'd love to see the coal in the furnace box because, you know, it's coal. It really does make more sense in the sciencey box. Okay. Where am I at right now? Put my crowbar away, because I'm not going to be demolishing anything, and I don't really need it right now, so that can go live there. Okay, I have food, I have water, I got a drone, which is kind of neat. I can make more of them, too. I could have multiple drones in my inventory, and we can just do hardcore mining all day. That is definitely going to speed up the process if I can mine two things at once, me mining something and old drone-me here mining something. I think the most important thing we've got is a working laser pistol. We're all very excited about that. No, I assure you, we are all very excited about that. Not as powerful as I thought, but then I was kind of told that in the comments. You really want to kind of jump to plasma, but plasma was a bit of a stretch. And hey, I still got laser pistol. So I think the next time on Cryofall, we head out on another great journey. I think that's the next move. Maybe we see if we can explore some areas that we haven't hit yet. Like, we really haven't touched on this area at all over here. I don't know if there's anything over there. That might just be ocean or something. But we might poke our nose over there. There were some areas, yeah, like right up north here where we found that blue snake. That was actually pretty good territory. We could cope with the enemies. They weren't, you know, they weren't insane. 
and we could get some stuff found up there. So it was a good like mid-level area for us. But that'll be the next move. We're going to do another great journey, taking laser and drone on the way, and then come back with a bunch of stuff. This is the this is this is good. This is all fine. Everything is fine. I've got a laser pistol. I've got a drone. Everything is 100% fine. Guys, we will pick up some more cryofall again next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. Just get right up in his face and shoot him in the face. I'm done with this guy. Go ahead and just shoot him right in the face, please. Yes, thank you. Bet that hurt. I think we're, we're officially farming at this point. I, I think, yeah, look, 99%, 98%. Yeah, we're, we're farming now. Elton, were you just scribbling on a map when you put this tour together? Looks like you had some sort of seizure with a pen in your hand. I have a cylinder. Broke Dave. Broke Dave. <laughs> uh, talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> uh, I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.